From now on, these territories will be protected under the Russian government. They are now Russian citizens. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'm watching a speech. About those annexed territories, you know, the one he's talking about that he just annexed illegally because he thinks he can. Yeah. yeah, I'll be taking that. I'll be taking all of that. Now that I can declare war on you, that means nukes too, dipshit. You want to roll that by me again? Hmm? I dare you. I double dog dare you, motherfucker. Think this is a game? Because it isn't. Cause I meant it when I said it. So did Dark Brandon over here. Don't get any ideas. Fuck around and find out. This isn't your fucking business. No, but it's about to be fucking yours. Cause, uh, we may not have as many nukes, but I will murk your ass. Give me a goddamn reason. Give me a motherfucking reason. <laughs> it's getting good. Be my guest. Nothing would make me happier. Fast as fuck, boy. Open that can of whoop ass. Do it. You see how quickly your world's gonna start tumbling around you. Cause it's not just me you have to deal with. It's the whole goddamn world. And don't think for a moment your little buddies are gonna help you. China's embarrassed with you. India's disgusted and annoyed at this point. Damn near pissed off every fucking European. And now you think. Now you think you're gonna sign some specialized piece of paper annexing some territories that are not yours. And I guarantee fucking tea. Guarantee. You land a single nuke anywhere, Red Square is going to turn into a parking lot for a mall. And we'll have a Lidl. And an Aldi. As long as that Lidl is also inside of a Super Walmart, I'm okay with it. There at least has to be one wildly understaffed Tesco's who fires their workers every month. Y'all need to cool the fuck off. Got Dark Brandon over here calling our fucking leader. Piss. Well... There is one person you have to be more worried about. Who could that fucking possibly be? Hey, Marine Corps. Yes. Russia threatened to take your crayons. 